it going guys just making a quick video for you guys if you're deciding on buying a drone or if you just bought one like the phantom 4 like myself uh, i just purchased one a few days ago and these i'm just gonna make a quick video these are things that i learned and uh what you guys should be expecting and what to do to get like to fly get in the air a lot quicker so first thing you gotta do is charge the batteries once you've done that uh, turn on the remote and the drone and to do that you pretty much tap the button once and then tap it again but hold it for two seconds and then the drone will go on same goes for the remote once you're done with that you want to plug in the USB cable to your cell phone or tablet uh, Android or iOS will work and then download the uh, DJI app and once you're done with that uh, you want to look for uh, firmware updates. You need to uh, update both the drone itself and the remote. And just by doing that, will save you 30 minutes. The reason why is because it's uh, you don't want to just go to the park and have it all plugged in and connected and find out there's an update and having you use your cell phone reception just to update that. That's gonna take you a lot. Uh, that's gonna take you like about 30 minutes. By doing this at your household, uh, you'll be you'll do this like pretty quick I think it only took like five minutes I don't know how long it'll take on your cell phone reception but it's best to do it at home all right now let's go to a park and assemble this thing and then later on we can go test it big tip before you fly if this is your very first time flying a drone I recommend finding a big field like this that has no trees or anything branches buildings around your surroundings that's could cause you to crash. So let's go set up the drone. Grab the box, grab the drone. Remove the little camera guard. Take out the battery. All right, voiceover time. The wind conditions are just getting worse and I didn't like how the audio came out for this clip. But as soon as you get the battery out, you wanna insert it to the drone. And as soon as you hear like a little click, you feel that click. I mean the battery is fully connected and won't fall off during flight now the blades the blades are they come in two colors if gray is a color uh, it comes in black and gray the black ones you could either follow the little arrows right here or you could just look at the little on top it'll have like dots so it'll have black dots for the black and then the white ones will be just the silver and then the cool thing about these, the Phantom 4 is that when you insert these blades, it rotates. So you, it also clicks on similar to the battery. So as soon as you feel the click and hear the click, that means they're fully secure and won't fall off during flight. That's the cool thing. I heard that the Phantom 3, you had to like screw it on and sometimes it will fly off. But that this is where DJI improved. Now for the remote... Manual suggests that you have the antennas pointing straight outwards instead of having to like uh, go on the sides. Manual recommends straight up, so I'm not ar gonna argue with the manual. Manual it claims by doing so it will give you the best reception. Now you want to always carry a USB cable to plug in your uh, phone or tablet, Android or Apple. Just make sure you have this because you're gonna need it in order for it to communicate with your device as soon as you open up the DJI app. And then if you're using a phone like me, there's actually little legs that pop up that will allow you to rest your phone, as you can see, onto the controller itself. And there's also a button in the back that allows you to extend it. So as soon as you have everything set up, plug in your phone, power up the remote, by pressing once and then press again and hold it for two seconds same goes for the drone you want to tap it and then hold it again for two seconds and you'll hear the internal fans boot up as well as you'll see like a little blade test this way the drone knows that all the blades are properly inserted now as soon as you run the app you want to hit go fly and then what I recommend everybody should be doing is recalibrating the compass every time you fly this way you could uh, you're like less likely to crash if the drone gets confused on which way it's facing so better safe than sorry this is a pricey investment so I highly recommend you to recalibrate the compass each time 
And to start the calibration, on top of the app where it shows you like the preview of the camera with the scene, you want to go on top and it's on the top left hand side next to the DJI logo. Tap that when it turns green, hit compass, and then you'll see the calibration option right there. So once you're ready to calibrate, the little lights are yellow. You want to hold the drone as I am right now from its landing gear, rotate 360. And as soon as those lights turn green, that means it's complete. Now you want to face it downwards and do the process again until it turns green. And as soon as it starts blinking, yeah, that means you're good. Everything's set. Compass is recalibrated and you're ready to go. Make sure it's like on the even floor level. When you first start off, you're going to be in beginner mode. Go on beginner mode, fly around, get to uh, get a better feel of the drone, how it behaves and stuff. And then later on, you can start taking it to the next level in sport mode or PS mode. So to start the propellers on the drone itself, you pretty much just hold down those joysticks. And you just full throttle it. Really easy to fly. Don't crash into me, please. Uh, and the cool thing about this drone, it actually has a... Uh... Cool thing about this drone, it actually has a uh, Facebook Live, so if you want to stream, you can. And then every time you take off, it does mark the home point, so if you don't know how to land it, uh, you pretty much have autopilot. Which you pretty much just slide to land, and pretty much the controller will do everything by itself. So as you can tell right now it's beeping, let me know that the drone is piloting itself. So right now it's preparing itself for a landing. So each time you take off, it'll pretty much mark it. And you're good to go. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics. Now let's go test out some features. Alright, the drone's literally out there. I got camera feed view right here. Nah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. The follow me. All right, I'm targeted. This is pretty cool. At least something worked. And now I'm getting a battery warning. So the follow mode is pretty cool, it's actually working. That's pretty cool. Well at least we got one thing working. <laughs> doing this without someone helping you it's actually moving pretty quick we're going in about 18 hey we might have to return for this later at a future video let's do a quick run and see how it follows before I run out of juice And not sure if you can see this, it lost me at uh Go home. It lost me at the uh, roundabout. Not roundabout, at the at the uh Falcon's at. Right now the drone's going home. So now I gotta follow his ass. Okay.
you going? Where the hell are you going? Stop! Nope, nope, nope. Uh, what the fuck? Apparently it's landing over there. What I told it to go over here. Okay, my drone landed safely, but it landed nowhere near the waypoint. Um, what the f***? Okay, I was on batteries. Ah, this controller is really big, and we're at 19% battery life. But that was an experiment. Hey, look, rabbits. Maybe I'll probably come by again and try this again. Oh, well, drone made it safe. Alright. So, I don't know what happened, but that drone did not land it where it took off. <laughs> it was supposed to. And, uh... <laughs> That was an experiment. I almost I lost it. I thought I was going to land on a dirt rock or something. Something that will make it tip over and crash. And then plus, the, uh, what's even harder is that I'm doing everything one handed. I was driving <laughs> and controlling that in a uh, private property, I would say. There was no vehicles around me, no civilians. It was just me and a couple of grass and bunny rabbits. But that was scary. I need uh, someone to man uh, hold the camera and also hold the remote and the steering wheel. And I was doing all three. Holy shit. But that experiment could have gotten a lot better. But the tracking works. I lost. Well. From what I saw. It lost signal. It lost track of me as soon as I did that U-turn. I guess it could have maneuvered itself that quickly or something. So. So I might have to redo this. In a future video or something. But if you know how to do the uh, interest thing. The track of interest. Comment down below, please let me know. I'm probably gonna do some research on my own and see how to do that. But, uh, yeah, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you disliked it, whatever. Dislike it, I don't care. That helps, anyways. But, uh, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more shenanigans like this because that, that was scary. <laughs> as soon as I saw it flip flying away, I was like, holy shit! But, uh, yeah, thanks for uh thanks for watching. Bye.